Hi, my name is Danny, and I was born in Buchholz in the Nordheide in Germany um, in the beautiful year 1981. And I play keyboards and do lead vocals in Voyager. Hi, my name is Mark Boyan. I am the drummer for Voyager, and I've been with the band for the last four years. Hey, my name is Alex Canyon, and I play bass in Voyager. Um, I was born here in Subiaco in Perth uh, in 1988. Hello, my name is Simone Dow. I uh, play guitar in Voyager. was born in Falkirk, Scotland uh, in 1984 and uh, immigrated over to Australia when I was six and I've been here ever since. Hey, I'm Chris Hansen. I play guitar in Voyager. Uh, I was born here in Perth, Western Australia uh, in 1991. I play a Korg M50 and um, I play it well. Um, I use a Ibanez Gem, I um, also use an S-Series Prestige and uh, use Mesa Boogie, Dual Rectifiers and Cabinets and a various assortment of Boss and TC Electronic pedals. I'm currently playing the new Mapex Orion custom six-piece kit I've just received last weekend. Um, at the moment, I'm also using paste signature series symbols. Um, yeah. I use an ESP SV standard. I also use a Mesa Boogie dual rect for head and cab, as well as uh, boss pedals and uh, Ivan S wire pedal. Uh, I primarily use a Fender five string jazz bass and also a Music Man five string Stingray. Um, I also exclusively use David Eden heads and cabinets. Um, and also various uh, foot pedals. I think, um, as far as I can remember, I was about 12 years old when I asked for my first drum kit. I'm not even sure why I asked for it. Um, I just wanted to be in a band at the time. Uh, I think I saw a few drummers on TV. I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, I remember seeing Buddy Rich on the Muppet Show playing with uh, Animal, um, believe it or not. And I think that's my earliest memory of wanting to play drums. So. I got my first acoustic guitar and seventh grade, so I would have been about 12 years old, well, 11 turning 12. I didn't really get serious about it until probably year nine, so it would have been about 13, 13 years old when I started getting serious about it. Um, I used to listen to a lot of, I basically started out in pop punk and punk rock music, which has just got me into the idea of playing a guitar, never really obviously getting technical about it or trying to you know, be a really good guitarist. Just, the feel of the music and playing it is basically what got me into playing the guitar. I've been, I got a scholarship um, through John Forrest Senior High School when I was 11 and um, so I did classical guitar I studied that for um, so year six and seven and then all the way through high school and I uh, picked up an electric guitar when I was 12 or 13 and I just never really looked back. Um, I sort of taught myself with the classical knowledge and then um, got into the heavy music and wanted to, to play like my idol, so. My dad was a bass player uh, in the 80s. Um, so uh, I guess that's, that's my intro introduction to bass. So I pretty much had a bass laying around um, and um, I was at my uncle's house one time and I think it was Metallic and Symphony I saw. Um, and I just, I was like, wow, this is really cool. So um, I thought uh, this would be a great opportunity to, to start playing something. But I've been playing piano pretty much since I was about five or six. I started out with classical violin and classical piano. And um, it's been a long and rocky road ever since then. Uh, my favorite band would have to be Opeth. <laughs> um, obviously very different to what Voyager do, but um, just one band that just grabbed me from the moment I listened to them. They just uh, have everything that I like about music in one band. You know, they're not just a generic death metal band. They they have the acoustic and folk style um, music in there as well. Clean vocals, which I'm a big fan. I'm not a huge fan of the growling vocals, so um, they were they've been a huge influence on me and uh, Mikael Ackerfeldt's playing as well he's fantastic um, Steve Vai has been a huge influence on my playing as well and uh, Joe Satriani 
My favourite band probably still to this day remains Typo Negative. Um, October Rust is a, is a landmark album which I um, still can listen to from beginning to end without, um, without liking it any less. Um, Pete Steele's voice has had a pretty big influence on me. Um, just what he does with it is, is awesome. I definitely listen to um, a lot of kind of doomier, melodic death, death metal. Um, I love bands like uh, like Cryptopsy. I heard that, which was 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 amazing. That was kind of like a, a revelation to me. Um, that Eric, the bass player from that, was using slap bass in in really just insane technical death metal. In terms of um, influences, I think they're my favourite band because they've been the biggest influence on me. It's probably Children of Bodom. It's just. Um, I feel like the album Follow the Reaper is probably my favourite one and that was the first album that I ever heard of Children of Bodom. And like I said before with the whole melodic death thing, it's just the, the aggression and melodicness. But also they use, they show off their musical talent too with a lot of ne neoclassical elements used in their songs. Um, also Alexi is a great guitarist and Yano is an amazing keyboardist and I think just the musicians in that band really, you know, take the time and effort to make the best of what they can. I don't necessarily have one big or main influence. I think, you know, a lot of people say it is important to have people to motivate you, but at the same time, you've got to kind of do your own thing, make your own style, kind of be your own musician. I think, yeah, Alexi Leho has definitely been one of them. I think Michael Lamont, he's been a big influence too, and um, I went uh, a couple of years ago, I went to go see Paul Gilbert at his guitar clinic, and that really changed the way that I see music and the way I play kind of thing, kind of not necessarily with this whole heavy shredding thing, but kind of just taking a step back and looking at what you're playing and you know, thinking more about it, trying to write something different. Um, the biggest one who I guess has had the biggest impact on me, in, not in terms of drumming, but in terms of heavy metal, is a band called Sawwork from Sweden. Um, I've been a massive fan since their second album came out, which was uh, Chain Up Machine, um, and I've loved everything they've ever done ever since. Um, I don't know what it is, but I think they, they're a fantastic band who know it or how. How to write music, how to write songs. They're a great guitarist, Peter Wickers, um, and of course their songer, the singer, <laughs> um, uh, speaks for it. I think the biggest, best song Voyages is, is, has, and they're like, even after three albums, is still um, uh, Morning Light. To Morning Light. We're to the Morning Light. To the Morning Light. Like Higher Existence. I would like to thank the fans for their years of um, hard work and dedication and um, I'm confident that this new album is not going to disappoint. Thanks very much. This new album coming out at the end of the year is going to be a really big surprise for some of you. Um, but fingers crossed and just hang in there and we're going to be back on the touring circuit within six months. I'd just like to uh, pretty much just say thank you to everyone that's supported Voyager. Um, I guess while I've been in the band anyway. Um, there are a few people who know who they are that have really, really helped us out. Um, and hopefully, you know, they'll get mentioned in the album. But um, yeah, thanks very much. Keep supporting it. Uh, and we hope you enjoy them. Uh, just thank you to all the fans for all their support over the years. I'm really thankful to get this opportunity. Obviously, I'm still quite, quite young. Um, and it's, I feel it's a real privilege for me to have this opportunity to play in such a just an awesome band with great people um, and yeah I think the next couple of years or so or whatever I think it's something for me to really look forward to and it's really exciting for me I hope it is for, as for the rest of the band and the fans and, and everything else and I think it's going to be great it's going to be awesome.